Hello everyone. Today we are going to see lecture notes on power system operation and control. How to read the power system operation and control, how to prepare for university end examinations uh, from the lecture notes we can see. In the previous uh, session, I told you what is the syllabus regarding power system operation and control. Now we go for power system operation and control chapter wise, that is unit one. Let us go for unit one. This is the syllabus regarding unit one. As I told you, the unit one is optimal operation of thermal power plants and the chapter title is economic operation. Actually, it is according to our syllabus, the title unit one is economic operation of power system. Whereas the syllabus regarding what? If this is the syllabus regarding optimal operation of thermal power units, thermal power plants, as we know that uh, we have so many power plants, how to operate those power plants that will be studied in unit one. Before studying this, what is the optimal operation of thermal power plants, heat rate curve and cost curve, different cost input output characteristics, optimum generation with the location of line losses neglected, these are the syllabus, loss efficient, general transmission line constant, line loss formula. These are the syllabus regarding unit one. Let us enter the chapter one, economic operation. Economic means according to map maximum benefits we are getting. Economic operation means uh, to get maximum benefits what we are choosing. How to reduce the operating cost of power plant. How to choose. Those will be considered economic operation of power system. As we know that a good business practice, what is the business practice as the power plant, power plant, the power is generated that will be distributed, that will be sold to the consumers. That is, a, it is also similar to a business, the generation of power in which the production cost is minimized. That is important. Production cost, where it is minimized. The production cost is minimized without sacrificing the quality. The cost is less, but uh, if the quality of power is a quality of power in the sense, the voltage profile and frequency all this, the task should not be sacrificed. The quality has to be maintained. At the same time, we have to reduce the cost, production cost, that is running cost of the power plant. Finally, what is the cost of one unit per generation? If you consider hydro power plant, the cost per unit will be less as compared to thermal power plant. This is not a different power sector as well. This is not any different in power sector as well. The main aim here is to reduce the production cost. Production cost on unit generated on the How much cost it will take to generate a unit that is production cost. While maintaining the voltage magnitude of each bus as a constant. In this chapter, we'll discuss about economic cooperation strategy. That is very important how to operate economically the power plants as you studied previously in generation how the power is generated in transmission how the power is transmitted now economic operation of those power plants along with turbine governor control to maintain the power dispatch economically turbine and governor you know that turbine turbine is coupled to alternator but the turbine is controlled by governor. What is governor, how it works, all this will be studied in this chapter. You can see a power plant has to, different load conditions it should, it should be bare. It should bear different load conditions. In summer or winter, whatever it, the season will be, it has to operate. Therefore, the power must be generated at all time in any power plant. The power generation must be very according to the load pattern. Power generation, suppose if there is no load, if the zero load is there, if the zero load is there, if the load is zero, load is zero, then if the load pattern is zero, if the load is zero, 
if we can't stop the power plant, is it right? If the load is zero, we can't stop the power plant. We can stop the power plant. You can see. If the load is zero, it may be very according to season. Suppose in winter season, there are very less number of power plants will run. Totally, the nation depends on what is the power, wind power, solar power. Whereas rainy seasons, the abundant of power is not required. But in case of summer, the demand will increase because everybody using AC, all this will be. According to load pattern, we have to generate. That means, suppose if there are number of power plants are four, or if the number of generating units are four in any power plant, how many power plants we have to switch on? How many power plants we have to switch off? Those will be depends on situation of the load. If the load demands more, we have to turn up because a, a good distribution system or a good economic power has to turn up. Therefore, the economic operation must take into account the load conditions. That is very important. Moreover, once the economic generation condition has been calculated, the turbine governor must be controlled in such a way that the generation should condition should be maintained. The generation should be maintained. So in this chapter, how the economic load dispatch, the economic operation will be controlled, how economic operation happened in power plants, that is power system operation and control subject is unit one. You can see the introduction. This is the introduction previously. One of the earliest application of online centralized control was to provide central facility to operate economically online today in the india as well as across the world wide the all the power plants are controlled through online they are connect, connected centralized control is there for india for india also there is a power control authority power how many units are we have to purchase how many units how many power plants should be run all this will be decided by Electricity Regulatory Authority Commission, which is located in New Delhi, I think so it is. In case of modern integrated system, modern power system consists of different types of generating plants. You can see gen different types. What are the types of generating plants, you know, such as coal-fired thermal power plants, hydro power plants, nuclear power plants, oil and natural gas units, not only those, solar also will be there solar and wind you can see solar also nowadays solar and wind etc so many power plants that the capital investment operation and maintenance costs are different for different power plants based on capital investment and operating cost operating cost in the sense for example if you go for thermal power plant thermal power plant utilizes coal coal will be fired after that power will be generated by the use of turbines. This is the requires operating cost. The capital investment and operating cost and maintenance charges also different from different power plants. You can see in solar, the operating cost will be very less because a solar power plant utilizes sun, sun energy. So different power plants have different costs, hence we have to go for cost curve also. That is the syllabus. You can see here, cost curve of power plant. Heat rate curve also will be there. How much heat will be produced to produce us some energy. Okay, incremental fuel and production cost. If the fuel cost increase, production cost increase, how it will happen, input-output characteristics, all this will be in unit one. I don't understand this. For economic operation of power plant, you must know what are the characteristics. What are the input characteristics? What are the output characteristics? What are the cost curve and incremental cost curve, production cost curve, like that. I don't understand this. The capital investment on the operation and maintenance. I don't understand this one. The capital investment for any power plant not constant. But not same. For example, capital investment of hydro power plant is very more as compared to thermal and nuclear. But running cost will be less. Running cost will be less. 
in next class we go for cost curve heat rate curve like that so many curves regarding core system operation and control economic operation again the operation of economics can divided into two parts one problem of economic dispatch economically how to dispatch how which deals with the determining the power output of each power plant to meet the specified load economic dispatch such the load overall fuel cost is minimized overall fuel cost is minimized but economically we have to dispatch the load we have to dispatch the power and another problem is what is this the operation economics can again subdivided into two parts one is economic dispatch and another one is optimal power flow optimal power flow in the sense which deals with minimum losses with minimum losses we have to generate more power and we have to dissipate we have to generate and give to the power to the distribution system that is losses has to be reduced these are the economic dispatch optimal power flow are the two subdivided they again the problem of economic dispatch and problem of optimal power flow okay in this chapter is economic operation economic operation means in this chapter we will consider problem of economic dispatch during operation of the power plant a generator may be in one of the following stages the generator may be in every power plant different stages will be there in this chapter we consider the problem of economic dispatch what are the problems to be faced by the generator during operation of any power plant operation of power plant in sense not only running the generator maintenance of various operators also during operation of a power plant a generator may be one of the following state any one of the state it will be any one of the state in the sense the generator should be idle on the normal condition or if the generator is running phase supply without regulation without a voltage regulation voltage will not be changes that is volt output is constant and sometimes if there is no load the generator producing some voltage that is a base load power plant or hydro power plants of the base load power plants base supply without voltage regulation under economic dispatch and to reduce the cost on this the generator may be any one of the state base supply without regulation the output is constant base supply with regulation output power is regulated based on system load if the system load increases the voltage will be drops but we have to maintain good voltage regulation that is the good requirement for a good power plant base supply with regulation power has to be generated but according to load condition we have to regulate the voltage and another one is automatic non economic regulation non economic regulation output level changes around base setting as area control error will be changes and fourth one is automatic economic regulation these are the various facts various states of any generator these factors these factors influence the cost of generation suppose work a generator continue run open without load waste of time waste of power all this will be allage work a generator without any supply it regulates with without any supply it feed operates then the output power is regulated based on system load then it is very good based on this the factors influence in the cost of generation the factors influence in the cost of generation or the generator efficiency generator efficiency what are the factors this is the so only starting will be the theoretical sub part will be there after that uh, some numerical problem solve will be there the factors in paying the cost of generation or the generator efficiency fuel cost and transmission losses the factor if factors influence the cost of generation cost of generation depends on generator efficiency fuel cost and transmission losses 
if the losses are less the cost economic operation will be good you can see economic in the sense it, it depends to losses and cost and efficiency all this will be the most efficient generator may not give minimum cost may not give minimum cost since it may be located in a place where the fuel cost is high. The most efficient generator may not give minimum cost since it may be located in a place where fuel cost is high. Where fuel cost is high, if you locate the generator, it won't reduce the charges, it won't reduce the cost. The power plant is located far from the load centers. Of course, the power plants, most of the power plants are located far from the power plants far from the load centers. Transmission losses will be happen and power plant may become uneconomical if it is located far away from the customers, load centers. The economic dispatch problem basically determines the generation of different power plants to minimize total operating cost. Basically, the thing, the unit one is totally depends on economic dispatch. It determines the generator different power plants to minimize the total operating cost. Total operating cost in the sense, the personnel who is required to operate, including the charges of maintenance charges also will be considered operating cost. To study all this, we require heat rate curve, like that in our syllabus, heat rate curve. What is heat rate curve? We can see input output curve it is. What are the heat rate curve? This is incremental fuel rate curve, incremental cost curve. Next class we go for, this is the simple equations regarding power plant operation, economic load dispatch, fuel cost by fuel generation. This, this one is incremental fuel rate. Like that so many definitions and so many simple graphs will come. This is the incremental cost curve. What is this incremental cost curve and all this will be discussed in next session. This is the basics and introduction part. Totally the subject similar to subject, the subject is similar to derivative part. Derivative part will be more and analysis part will be more. You have to read carefully.